all these YouTubers get the chance to see these movies early, and I'm just sitting here waiting for my chance. <laughs> It is great to be back! And in case you guys didn't know what I was referring to in my intro is I went to TIFF a few days ago and I saw The Magnificent Seven. Yes, I, another average Joe upon the street, got to see a movie a few weeks early. Marco, how was the movie? Tell me about it, please! Marco, how was the experience? Did you love it? Marco, are you gonna go back again? Now, not to worry, I'll probably do a video relating to all those questions in a later date, but today, we're gonna be talking about The Magnificent Seven. So in Anton Foucault's latest film, Denzel Washington plays a badass bounty hunter cowboy outlaw who, after some pretty tragic events put together his own team to go up against the threat. Now, seeing that I saw this movie at TIFF, I really wanted to enhance my experience overall by not knowing anything about it. And I will say, after coming out, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, first off, if you've seen any promotional art for this movie, the posters, wallpapers, whatever, you would have known about the all-star cast. We've got the likes of Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Vincent D'Onofrio, Ethan Hawke, and a bunch more. I will say they all put up pretty solid performances, especially Chris Pratt and Denzel Washington. Now, Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt really being the main characters that we focus on in the story, we're able to bring some emotion towards them. Not so much towards the rest of the character, although a few of them have some pretty good backstories, it's pretty bare bones for the rest. But within some of the opening scenes with the larger cast, you realize it's not going for the emotional punch. And what I'm trying to say by that is this isn't your classic western. This isn't your old Clint Eastwood movies. This isn't your Wild Wild West showdowns. It's it's not. <laughs> what it is is a Hollywood-styled modern-day western. And before you click off your monitors and say, oh, another piece of Hollywood bullshit, Shit. Stop! Like, seriously, stop. Because one of my favorite things about this movie is how it's able to pay respect and homage to all the old westerns, but play it with a modern twist. You still have those cowboy mannerisms, you have old school showdowns, but alongside all that, you have some great comedy and some action that really uplifts the entire movie. And because I mentioned I'm just gonna keep the ball rolling, the action in this movie, especially from like the second half on... Mm. <laughs> awesome. Just, just... Awesome. And I have to give a lot of that praise to Anton Fuqua and his direction throughout these scenes. What he's able to do is take the intensity from some of these dialogue scenes and transition it so well into the intensity in some of these bigger action scenes. So that pretty much means you're on the edge of your seat for the final act of this film. And yes, you've been hearing me praise this movie quite a bit, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. For me, some of the minor things were that the ending felt a little bit like, uh, you had to go that way, you didn't have another way to wrap up the movie. Again, very minor, but just still one of those things I noticed. And another thing which I really didn't mind, but I know if few people are gonna be like, oh no, you can't do that. Is that a lot of the other characters, excluding Pratt and Washington, don't have as much development as maybe people would want? But again, I can't stress this enough, that's not what the movie's going for. Take a movie like Pacific Rim, a movie which I love. And I don't love it because it had deep characters or a thought-provoking meaning behind it. I loved it because it was entertainment and it did exactly what it wanted to do perfectly. And that's the one thing I will say to everyone before going into this movie, know what you're going into. Don't go in expecting a Django Unchained or The Hateful Eight, movies that are classified as westerns but take it up to the next level. If you're going into The Magnificent Seven expecting a Hollywoodized western with big action scenes and a great cast, you're gonna love it. So with all that being said, I'm gonna give The Magnificent Seven a solid two thumbs up. I will say it was a little weird and a little different going into one of these film festivals where you usually see more calmer, smaller based movies and instead you got a huge action movie. But once I wrapped my head around it and knew what I was getting myself into, I really enjoyed it. Since probably a lot of you haven't seen The Magnificent Seven yet, I'm not gonna ask you what you thought about it. Instead, let me know if you're still excited for it and maybe if my review made you a little bit more excited for it. Let me know all those and your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now. I'm Marco Pereira. <laughs> okay, get out, get out, get out. I better be featured in this. <laughs>